Okay, part four. Mary here, the ambitious gardener. Just a quick update. Doing a little cleanup around here today. I want to show you how I um, use the old pantyhose and put uh, hammocks, slings around those watermelon because they're starting to get big and uh, these are the crimson sweet and I read where they can grow up to 25 pounds. So they're going to need a little support. So uh, Pantyhose. I don't wear pantyhose so I've got a whole drawer full of pantyhose I can use. There's a, a nice cantaloupe coming out right there. Looking good. Um, this thing is just sprawling all over the place. Looking pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to plant some more, grow some more sugar snap peas, and I put them in a pot. And I have this trellis right here. Um, I think in the garden they were shaded too much by the zucchini. Um, and they didn't do really well. I mean, we they produced a little bit, but not like I've, I've seen. So I'm going to try again. They're starting to, they're starting to come up, and we'll see, because I really like the sugar snap peas. Um, not having any luck with my eggplant seeds. I planted a bunch of them in here, but only one came up right there, and it's not looking real good. And I got one right there. And then these onions, um, not really sure when, when to pick these. I'm going to have to look it up. I mean, that's got a nice bulb on it right there. But, um, that looks like it can actually be, be picked. I might have to do something with these. Over here. Um, over here I took these, I had these little, um, garden fences. They were holding my green beans together, and, um, the green beans haven't been doing as well as they've done for me in the past, and I think it's because they were way too crowded. Um, so I... I took those out there, and I, pu I pulled up most of the lettuce because it had just started to go to seed, and um, and I really didn't like the mescaline. I didn't like the flavor of that baby lettuce. I really liked the romaine, but um, so yeah, so now my green beans have a lot of room in here, so we'll see if that makes a difference. Um, cucumbers, I picked one today that was ready, but it had a, a pinhole in it. So it looks like pickle worm got to my cucumbers, and um, the zucchini and the squash haven't really started producing again. But I'm not giving up yet. I've taken off all the dead, all the dead leaves, and cleaned up real good in there. And we'll see what happens. Um, these are all my romas. There's, there, I uh, got a little baby tomato right there. They're doing pretty good. I need to get some support, some cages from the for these before they get too big. Um, do have a couple of flowers on these, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm not giving up yet. I'm not giving up on them yet. I got a, a habanero, habanero pepper right there. Um, and these, uh, these green onions look like they're ready, actually. Got to do something with those. The lemon boy. I can't wait till it turns yellow. It's going to be so pretty. And the sugar sweets. Um, they've got quite a few tomatoes on there. Still have the Japanese eggplant. It's producing really well. Um, the other ones, the bigger ones, Black Beauties, forget it. They, they just aren't producing. So, um, <sighs> I came out here and did a little cleanup today. Um, trimming off some dead leaves and whatnot, and um, really freaked me out when I saw this. And I don't know if you can see it, but that's a, that's one of those horrible worms. Um, can't think of the name of it right now. Um, yeah, it's really nasty. It's huge. Look how big it is. Um, it looks just like the stem of the plant, and it's really hard. They're really hard to see. So now I'm kind of freaked out. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to look closer. Um, these are doing well since I moved them over here. They're producing pretty good. Um, oh, my battery's going out. And uh, 
These are doing pretty good, too. I kind of ignored them for a couple of days. I thought they had enough rain, and I came out, and they were all droopy and stressed. And um, This guy took a hit, but it's coming back nicely. All right, well, that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching, and happy gardening.